Transparency is a key component of good governance. And being transparent and accountable to our stakeholders and public is important because it builds trust and confidence in the charity. Well, I think it's so important as a charity, as an IPC, uh, to be very transparent about what we do. So we believe that when there is greater transparency, greater accountability, and also strong governance, we're better able to also instill more trust and potentially more giving in the future. By embracing transparency, we are fostering an open culture of openness, integrity and honesty. And this is of utmost importance to build a credible and trusted organisation. Transparency is necessary for trust. And for charities and foundations like ours, trust is what underpins our relationship with all of our stakeholders. We need trust if we are going to have a basis, a legitimacy for existing and a license to operate. And it's the trust and transparency we have that enables us to raise funds and disperse funds to our scholarship recipients and for the programming that supports our mission. We are excited, at the same time humbled, to be receiving this award. I believe that it's a testament to the hard work that we have been putting in to ensure that transparency practices are uh, in place for the organisation. Some of the uh, processes that we have put in place would be to set up a very strong audit and risk subcommittee with experts, as well as our governance and compliance subcommittee, where we have the relevant experts in the industries um, support us in our transparency practices. One of the things we did to improve was to include additional disclosures in our annual reports and add a corporate governance section to our website to make the information readily available to our stakeholders and our public. We also conduct um, board evaluation, board self-evaluation and 360 degree evaluation as a check-in to how well we are performing as a board as well as our individual responsibilities as a board member. This helps us identify the current and expected level of performance and holds us accountable for taking steps to improve our effectiveness. The APHN look at transparency from three-pronged approach. We look at transparency in our financial accounting and we integrate our operations through very stringent governance and framework. We also have very regular engagement with our stakeholders. So we invest in various platforms of communication like the social media, our newsletter and our website. We also have an Asia-Pacific version of the eHospice to report on our work done, the activities that we do and our future plans. We learn from the best, we benchmark with other peer institutions, not just in Singapore but also you know, across the museum sector internationally, to put in place a strong governance framework and we try to make sure that we keep ourselves updated with the latest expectations, whether it's from you know, the way we receive donations, the way we interact with our various uh, stakeholders and our audiences. And we report them uh, regularly to donors, to funders. Annually, of course, we do have our annual report and our financial statements. There's also audits that we have by way of internal audits or external audits. And these are all guided by our Audit and Risk uh, Committee. So we also provide impact reports to our various donors, assuring them that they have been creating impact. So I would en encourage charities to actually take that first step to proactively undergo these processes. However, once you have implemented and gone through the exercise the first time, the following years would be um, a lot more seamless and uh, not so painful to go through. I would encourage charities to take the charity transparency self-assessment. It gives you a good gauge of where you stand um, currently with your disclosure standards and areas that you can improve on. And also, I guess, by participating in, in these kind of uh, uh, so-called uh, awards, it also tells us how we are doing, allows us to overcome challenges or other areas that we think we need help on or at least be alerted to the gaps that we, we still have. Right? So it's a continual journey. We take it very seriously that we have 
been entrusted uh, with these very precious assets which we need to safeguard for future generations. People get involved with nonprofits and charities because they believe in the mission. Um, and they volunteer and they spend their time. It's important to remember that the time and investment in good governance and in transparency are what actually create the foundation for the charity to deliver its mission. Holding the key to transparency is like holding the key to run a success organization in charity. This will give us a long-term success which is vital to both us and the beneficiary and to create a very good positive social impact.